arriving from Mariupol, a bus with the Red Cross logo, as the humanitarian organization called their planned evacuation of civilians from the besieged port city on Friday impossible. These Ukrainians chose to leave on their own, despite the risks. This family escaped after finding a volunteer-run bus leaving the city. It was really hard. This mother says Russian troops searched civilians even when they were on the bus. I was scared they would kidnap my son. They made him throw his phone away. They smashed it on the ground because he was listening to American music. Others made it out in their own cars, tying white ribbons onto their vehicles to signify their civilians and placing signs that read children against their windows, attempts to stay safe throughout a dangerous journey. A bomb exploded. This was from the first impact, and this was from the second. After the rocks from the explosion hit our car. Once in Zaporizhia, civilians are welcomed in this former supermarket, now turned into a refugee centre. They're given hot meals and a chance to rest after a long journey. But some family members were left behind. This mother explained that her husband, a policeman in Mariupol, was detained by Russian forces. The most difficult thing is I don't know what happened to my dad. Is he in prison? Is he alive? Is he OK? Several hundred people, including children, arrived here Friday. The Red Cross says they will try to evacuate civilians again Saturday.